Vertical mattress sutures are an important technique to master for any aspiring surgeon. They are particularly useful in closing deeper wounds. This is because vertical mattress sutures allow the deeper aspect of the wound to be pulled together, whilst at the same time opposing and inverting the superficial skin edges. Because the strength of the closure comes from the deep bites, this means that there is minimal tension on the skin surface, which allows the skin edges to heal with a better cosmetic result. We tend to use vertical mattress sutures to close wounds in anatomical areas where the skin edges tend to invert or roll under. For example, the palm of the hand, posterior aspect of the neck, or in the groin, but they may be used to close any deep wound. Vertical mattress sutures are referred to as vertical sutures, as the two bites are made along the same vertical line from the skin edge. The suture is performed by taking two larger bites of the skin, followed by two smaller bites, and can be remembered by far, far, near, near. We start by picking up the far wound edge with our tooth forceps and inserting the needle at 90 degrees to the skin. We progress the needle by the smooth supination of the wrist. We then reposition the needle and take a second deep bite, aiming to come out on the skin surface approximately the same distance that we entered on the far side. The needle is then reversed and using a backhand technique the needle is passed much closer to the wound edge. This allows us to take two smaller bites of the skin as you can see demonstrated. Again, we should be aiming to keep the same distance from the skin edges with these smaller bites. If the smaller bites are too far away from the skin edge, the skin will not be nicely opposed and it can cause the wound to open up. Once the needle is back on the original side of the wound, the suture is then secured. Because we are dealing with a deeper wound, then it's often better to perform an instrument surgeon's knot, as the extra friction of the knot keeps the wound opposed whilst we perform the other throws of the knot. When knotting the suture, we should avoid over-tightening, as this can cause the suture to cut into the patient's skin, resulting in cosmetically unpleasant marking. So here we can see the end product of the vertical mattress suture, with the deeper aspect of the wound closed, and the superficial wound edges nicely averted. We then place additional sutures halfway between the first suture and the edges of the wound, as you can see demonstrated. We would then place additional sutures midway between the sutures that we've already placed and also midway between the lateral most sutures and the lateral edges of the wound. The sutures should be evenly spread along the length of the wound and approximately 10 millimeters apart. This ensures that the wound is adequately closed and that tension is equally spread over each suture.